Hey, what's happening, gangsters? Today I want to do a short, quick tutorial, show you guys how you can use keyframes in Enlight's Video Leap to fade in video, photos, audio, or text. Uh, it's pretty simple, so I'm going to go ahead and get right to it. Um, the first thing you want to notice is down here at the bottom right hand corner, you see this icon that looks like a diamond with a plus by it. That's your keyframes that we're going to be using. So first thing we're going to fade in is the video clip. So what you want to do is you want to make sure you tap the clip and it's highlighted. It shows highlighted with the white box around it in the timeline. The red box is around it in the preview window. So you want to go in to the video clip about as long as you want it to fade in. So the good thing about doing it this way is you can make the fade as fast or as uh, short or as long or as short as you want by where you adjust the keyframe. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and move this in and be about two second fade. So I go ahead and I tap this icon that's shaped like a diamond down here below the timeline. And we're going to go back to the beginning and we're going to, if you look down here at the bottom, you see this um, icon that says opacity. We're going to tap that and it brings up a slider. You want to pull that all the way down to zero. And it's going to pull down the opacity on your video clip. So now you'll see as I drag through my timeline, that keyframe there at the beginning is highlighted red. Once I move away from that, it's going to turn back white. So now any changes I make, it's not going to affect that keyframe. And as you see, between the two keyframes, now the second keyframe is highlighted red. It's at 100% opacity, and you probably saw the slider go from 0 to 100%. And tap out of it, and this is what it looks like when it fades in. Nice and smooth. So what we're going to do is the same thing will apply to text. We're going to go ahead and go into it a little bit, put a keyframe at the middle and take the opacity down whoops you gotta go back we're going to take the opacity down to zero so now if we play that back from the beginning so now you got the video and the text now we're going to do the same thing with the audio we come in about two seconds in, we add a keyframe, and this time what you want to do is you go down to the volume and you just take the volume down to zero. So now we're going to have a fade on the audio, the video, and the text. Now the same thing applies to fading out your video and your audio. You're going to go ahead and go to the end of the clip. You're going to add a keyframe about two seconds away from the end. Whoops, that was on the audio. We'll do the video first. You're going to add the keyframe so it's still at 100% opacity. Then we go right to that end of the clip, tap the opacity, drag that slider down to zero, and now you're going to see it fade out. And now we'll do the same thing with the audio. You make sure the audio is highlighted by tapping the bubble in the timeline. And you come down to the end here. And if you want to line up the keyframes with the video, you could tap the video first and then tap the audio bubble. Add your keyframe. Come right to where the end of the video clip is. And take the audio slider. Take it all the way down. And tap out of it. And now watch. Same thing is going to apply to the text. I'm probably beating this thing into the ground, but uh, you're going to add a keyframe there. Then you go to the end of the clip and you find your opacity, drag it down to zero. So now we'll watch the clip in its entirety. And that, my friends, is how you fade in and out in Video Leap. 
You can do this with graphics. You can do this with anything. You can do this with the effects that you add. Um, I'll, I'll probably go ahead and show another tutorial that uh, shows you how to use the effects and how you can use keyframes to bring them in nice and slow so it's not so abrupt. If you like this, if this was helpful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I'll be doing more videos on Video and Leap. Uh, there's a lot of little tricks to learn in this. It's a great app. Uh, I love it. This is the one I use all the time. Um, also, check out the uh, link in the description for my merch. I've got some lit t-shirts. Uh, I'm a, I, I design t-shirts for Amazon merch, so um, if you want to help support my channel, go ahead and check out my library full of uh, t-shirts. Um, and if you have any suggestions on any videos or questions about this video, go ahead and leave it in the comments. Thanks, guys. I'm out. Peace.